It's Halloween tomorrow. I'm sure you knew that anyway. Uh, and if you're wondering what to do with those unwanted pumpkins after the big day, I made some soup. I had some, a couple of Did pumpkins. Did you? Yeah, it was all right. Uh, here's an alternative idea, which is open to everyone. Feed them to the lions. Obviously. Yeah, because uh, we've lions, all got a lion exactly, in the garden. Exactly, the lion in the garden. These lions are at London Zoo. Uh, they seem to enjoy them. Oh, look at that. Um, although possibly more to have a little play with rather than a snack. They'd Carved. probably like your soup, though, Roger. Yeah, they would. The, the meerkats at London Zoo also like them. They're very nicely carved, I have to say. They've done a good job <laughs> someone has. Uh, that's also at the zoo. They look curious, don't they, more than anything. Uh, the zoos in the United States are also following suit. These are lemurs at Oregon Zoo. Oh, having a little forage inside. That's King inside. Julian. Really sweet. Sweet oh, oh, They are scary. cute, aren't they, wasn't it? Um, Gosh. Was it Mary Madagascar that the uh, meerkats yes. were in? Yeah, King yeah. Julian. He likes yeah. pumpkin. Bit risky leaving your camera in there, isn't it? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Uh, Carol's got a look at the Halloween weather. How spooky is it looking, Carol? Oh, it's spooky for some of us, Nina. There'll be some mist and fog and cloud around in the evening. Now, as if you didn't know, it's Halloween tomorrow. And while Kew Gardens is putting on its first after dark Halloween trail full of hidden surprises, the gardens will be completely transformed into a spectacular adventure running through the entire site.